Thanks for staying up with us. The search for balance in a person's life can often lead down many different roads. Some peaceful, some brimming with noise and bright lights. Such is the journey for Central Georgia's Chuck Lavelle. His life's balance combines the quiet beauty of a family farm with the rich, sometimes raucous sounds of music on stages around the world. I recently sat down with the musician slash tree farmer to delve a little deeper into the many parts that make up his unique journey. For me, music is all about colors and feelings and emotions and not just chords and notes. Oh yeah. Chuck Lavelle's love of music grew out of fun times spent with his mom at a young age. Whew, I was just fascinated looking at those hands go up and down and hearing the beautiful music. Those early sounds grew into a passion and eventually a trip to Macon, home of Capricorn Studios and the Ullman Brothers Band. And we had these jam sessions, which I was a part of, and they started liking what I was doing. I get a call from Phil Walden to come to his office, and I go, and there's all the guys in the band in the room, and the shoe dropped. Hey, sounds pretty good. You want to join our band? The hookup with the brothers jump-started Lavelle's long musical journey that eventually led to an audition with one of the world's most renowned bands, the Rolling Stones. And I had been a fan of course, growing up, you know, I, when I went for the audition, my thought was, well, Chuck, you played all these songs when you were 14 and 15. So, you know, relax and just play the tunes. You know, you know what they are. You know them and play the tunes he did, producing rich results. And when I did get the gig, I thought to myself, wow, it's amazing. You know, I'm playing with the Rolling Stones. Wow, if this could last three, four, five years, wouldn't that be amazing? 42 years later, Frank, here we are. As Chuck's musical career grew, so did his love for the land and the place he and Rose Lane, his wife of over 50 years, call home. It's Charlene Plantation, more than 2,000 acres, where Rose Lane's family lived and worked in the heart of Twakes County. They have such a high degree of respect and, and passion for that work and they love the land, you know, and so when we got together 50 years ago and I began to spend time with the family, uh, that became apparent to me and all of that began to rub off on me. His work on the land continues to this day and earned him numerous awards. More importantly, it's a quiet space where he can recharge after time on the road. You start thinking, you know, well, what about the, uh, this house that we're living in is made of, of wood, beautiful wood? What about this fine furniture that we're sitting on? And, you know, what about uh, that walk in the woods uh, that, that just relaxes you and makes you, you know, as you use the word balance, it, it helps to keep me balanced. And there's a lot to balance. Now in his early 70s, Lavelle still keeps a crowded calendar, including 18 U.S. dates with the Stones starting in late April. They love doing this. This is food for them. They have to do it. You know, uh, they don't need to do it economically or financially, but they have to do it for their hearts, their minds, their souls. Uh, and I feel the same way. We're showing folks how to plant trees. <laughs> well done, oh, my friend. Thank well you, done. sir. Oh, me. Oh, you are gosh. officially a forester. Yeah. You get the you feeling the this ride is nowhere near its final destination. When I was 14, 15 years old back in Alabama, thinking, wow, wouldn't it be great if I could make a career out of this? And fortunately, I have. It's, it's just been an amazing journey. Now, Chuck's also a television host of his own show, America's Forest, that airs on PBS. It's just one more hat he wears, which begs the question, how does he get to do all these neat things? You want to know the secret, Frank? I work cheap. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting some words of wisdom. We have much more with Chuck Lavelle on our website, including an interesting encounter he had with one of college football's most successful head coaches. And as he prepares to hit the road this spring, you can follow his travels with our own interactive map. That and some other new videos online right now on 13WMAZ.com.